What's going on, guys? Today, we are with Mikey Balls. Yo, yo. We are checking something off my bucket list today, which is fishing Lake Okeechobee. That is, that's where we're at right now. We're beautiful, beautiful Florida. Um, eyes are all water aches. We just got done running across the lake. We're gonna be fishing, we're gonna start off with some moving baits. It's kind of what I say when I'm fishing in Nebraska. It's like you always start off with moving baits and then if it goes well, you know, you stick to it. If it doesn't, then maybe slow it down. So we're gonna start off with some moving baits, some chatter baits. But we're hoping to hook into a few big ones. Uh, it sounds like Okeechobee's not in its prime right now, so it may not be a slugfest. It may be, I'm not sure. But we're, what we're kind of hoping for today is just a few really good bites. You know, you get a chance at some uh, some giant fish anytime you're in Florida, especially like Okeechobee. So we're gonna be we're gonna be doing a little bit of flipping, a little bit of uh, swim baiting, a little bit of chatter baiting, all that fun stuff. So hopefully you guys enjoy. Let's do this. Is that a fish? Oh, we got a fish. <laughs> First fish of the day on the big O. It's a good one, dude. Do you want the net? Uh, maybe. Oh, crap. Okay. All right. Big things happening. Oh, yeah, yeah. Big things happening, boys. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Look at that. Like it's nothing. It like it's nothing. Just like five pound change. Man. Just show up to friggin' Okeechobee and just bam. Just, just bam. So well, folks, first fish of the day. I'd say that's a decent fish. Yeah, she's <laughs> not as fat as the one from uh, from the deeper stuff though. But just broad. You see how broad they are. Yeah, they're just. I just can't believe it. This is this is Florida fishing right there, boys. All right. Well, good start to the day. I think that's I think that's a good sign. Let's let her go quick. See you later, fishing. Oh, that's Jim, by the way. Oh, Jim? Jim. Okay. See you later, Jim. Jim's taking off. That's that's good stuff. <laughs> All right, well. Okay. Welcome to Okeechobee, folks. There's a fish. It's not a big one, but I'll take it. First Okeechobee bass. It may be bigger than I think. Now he's just got a little bit of grass on him. Nope. Fun little bite there, isn't it? Oh yeah. My very first Okeechobee bass. I mean, I catch this, you catch like a five and a half, six, but. But hey, look how yesterday turned out. It's, it's, it's a process. It's dude. a process. We may, yeah, we just gotta get these fish dialed in, but that's, that's my first Okeechobee bass. Kinda wanna cherish this moment. All right, all right, see you later. Well, that's good. That's good. So the lure I caught that one on was a little bladed jig with actually a fluke on it. Like a little jerk, soft jerk bait. Just something that I don't really throw often, but like he was saying, that's kind of like, kind of the thing, his little secret. I, maybe I shouldn't be telling these folks this. No, it's cool. It's it, just a little more subtle. I it's think. more subtle. So Everybody it's, puts kicky stuff Everyone, on there, including myself. Much, like you guys watch me throw cheddar baits almost every day of my life. And I throw a swim bait. So mixing it up, throwing something like this. So that's that's just a tip. I like to fill my videos with tips. Another tip: if you want something more subtle, something different, if all your buddies are throwing chatter baits and uh, you want to do something different, toss a little soft jerk bait on there and give it a shot. There you go. There you go. Fish number three. We, we started off hot. Started off hot. A lot of bites and a big one. <laughs> and then it's just. But he did eat it. I mean, dude, that thing was like way down. Yeah, we're mouth. we're still finding them. But there are small fish in Okeechobee. There's flare fish. In Believe Okeechobee. it or not, flare fish do exist in Okeechobee. <laughs> Believe it. I mean, I know you guys watch all the tournaments on TV and see them catching sevens and eights all day. Nope. I catch the flare fish. I find them. I put us on the juice for the flare fish. Oh, there goes that. Did you get a fish? On? Yeah. I just set the hook and it just broke, right there. We talked about this, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, it like smashed it right when I, it landed and it was a fish. How? I hope this isn't a reflection of the day moving forward, bud. But... All right, folks, so what just happened? I actually couldn't even explain that. I have no idea what just happened, but 
I uh, essentially I cast it out there, had a fish, and broke off somehow. And then I ended up losing all my line. So then I had to re-spool and get all a new line on here. So we're back into business though. Yeah, no, I have no idea, no idea how big that fish was, but I'm throwing a little swim bait, like they're just a soft swim bait. So I would assume it's a big one, but you know, I, okay, all right, safely five pounds. But when I when I set the hook, like it didn't move. I thought I I honestly got that I hooked the gator because there was a gator that was not that far from here. And maybe I did. I don't know. But I'm gonna I'm just gonna say it was a big bass, just to keep my confidence up that there are fish in the area, and we're gonna see if we can actually catch one of these bad boys. Oh, there's one. Right in that pocket. I, I did exactly what you said. I just pot. I like burnt. I like burned it right into the pocket, and then I paused it. All right. Well, I missed my first, my first easy fish. I might need it. So I might. I might need a new one. At least my line didn't snap. So we're we're making progress in this day. Eat it, dude. God dang, son. Can't catch a break. I didn't even swing on that one. Come on, fish. You're in right, though. Got him. Got him. Keep him pinned, baby. He's still on. Oh, come on, fish. Come on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh dude. It's a good one. Oh god, it's a good one. You got him, you got him. Yep. Yes, baby. <laughs> I need oh, I, I need to I need to take a nap after that one. Oh, nap. oh my god. I can't believe you didn't come off. That's awesome. Look, that's man. like you couldn't ask for a better hook placement. Here, here it is folks. My first Okeechobee swamp bass. You guys can see it's a little different colored fish. Caught that one, throw in the easy. Is it the big easy? We're using the big easy. We're using the, we're going for the big girls, but that's that's the first one for me so far. That was exciting stuff. We're gonna say goodbye to Gordo here. See you, buddy. That was sick. I'm sure the GoPro was like, you guys were probably looking up into the sky for the 30 seconds of me reeling it in. <laughs> I didn't want to bring my hands down in front of the camera to reel because I was gonna lose leverage, but that fish blew up on it. Three times. Yeah, three times. Kept missing it, missing it, missing it. And then threw back again and just let it sink down to the bottom and twitched it twice and it ate it. And I set the hook as hard as I possibly could. And for some reason my line didn't break, so that's good. <laughs> I mean, we're doing something right now. We're starting to put this together. Uh, starting to get my life situated, but we're, <laughs> we're out here in the pads. Just, this is like, this is like a moment right now that I've dreamt, dreamed, dreamt, not sure which one's correct, about my entire life. Uh, fishing Okeechobee in the lily pads catching fish like this. So anyways, I'm gonna quit talking. I'm gonna go back to fishing, see if we can catch even a bigger fish. Hopefully, hopefully what, like a 10 pounder, 12, 13, 14? Sure. Oh, there's one, there's one. Keep him on, keep him on, I'm going for you. Stay up. You got him? Yep, he's, I can see his tail, his tail's still up. Oh, water ski, water ski, come on. Come on, baby. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh my God. Get up in here, boy. Woo! Another good hook, though. I mean. Oh, you gaffed her, dude. Yeah, in and out. And you skated her, which is perfect. Well, folks, there she is, the second one. Finally, after missing like 20,000 of these, finally hooked into one. All right, Jeremy, see you later. See, I think the key is not to pay any attention at all and wait for them to rip the rod out of your hand. And even your fit, usually, you don't want to say it. There you go. There you go. Yeah, it really let him eat it. 
That's some training right there, folks. <laughs> Come out, boy. Oh, little girl. Hey, so there. That was you let that fish eat that thing oh, three she times. She never she never had it? She never had it. I don't even know if she's still in there. Oh there you go. Yeah, she's still there. That's when you know you've been you've been fishing a couple times is when you have the, the patience to let that fish eat it three like it boiled three times before he even swung. There's my knees buckled. There you have it folks. You guys got you guys got the first first look at what it takes to have discipline that's the right word i'm looking for discipline. the discipline to not set the hook when you guys are fishing like this this is frog fishing it's, it's just like it i get so many comments that are like flair i keep getting so many strikes on a frog and i can't hook them what am i doing wrong most of the time you're probably throwing too light of a rod or maybe not throwing braid but the second most important thing is you're not waiting for them to eat it they just swipe at it. a lot of times they they swipe at it and they try to kill it they basically just try to like knock it out and make it unconscious, especially like any type of like shiners or something. Those just are really easy to kill. Um, and then you gotta let him eat it. And that's exactly what, that's exactly what he did. And he caught that fish. So just take notes, folks. All right, guys, made a move. This is what you call a punch rig. This is something I brought to Nebraska last, I think July. Filmed a video in Nebraska with this thing. And it's, it's a pretty crazy way to catch fish. It's not something the majority of you guys probably do, but Essentially, you cast this thing and you just you punch through like you literally just cast it into a bush and It looks like it's dry ground, but it's not and fish hide in it And then you got to wrench them out and all that fun stuff So we're we did the swim bait thing for a little while caught obviously caught some fish missed a ton of fish We're gonna see if we can catch one flipping just cuz just cuz it's kind of fun to, to do I heard the flipping bites not really the greatest um, but the, the odds of us catching one is they're not none and uh, you might catch a big one too doing it this way So we're gonna spend a little bit of time doing this and if this isn't paying out We may uh, we end up may end running around a little bit more catch a few more fish before the end of the day That was a fish right. <laughs> How was I like, like I didn't set it right away cuz I was like no way Felt kind of like a little guy. I gotta grab another bait. I think took it Oh, oh wow. Okay. Okay. It's heating up now, boys. <laughs> oh my gosh. So it was a fish that I had. I'm not just dreaming. No, you weren't dreaming. I, I kind of bojangled you. Sorry about It's that. okay. <laughs> Look at that. That's that's a punch fish, flip fish. I don't know what you call it, but that's nuts. Okay, all right. Well, we, <laughs> all right. I kind of talked down the whole flipping bite, but let's free. not do it. <laughs> Whoa. Pitch in it, pitch in it, pitch in it. See that stalk that's half up, right? Yeah, right yeah. In the middle. Yep, get it. Yeah, baby. Come on. He, he come off? No, he's still there. He's on. All he's right. there. Yeah, baby. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! That's what you call teamwork, boys. So I stole one from you, and I gave you one. You back. gave it back. <laughs> we made up for it. First. Florida Okeechobee punch fish, dude. Congratulations. Oh my god, that is awesome, dude. That I is. he came up because you ran back I did behind, too. dude. Oh my god. My first punch fish. Thanks to him, he, he kind of found him. He's like, you know, he just got a bite and then he kind of threw his lure over and, uh, you know, he was getting all situated. So he told me to throw in there. And, Looks well, like you gave him a bit of a nosebleed. I gave him a little bit of a, <laughs> little bit of a nosebleed there, but that's awesome. Punching. Punching is like, Oh, I don't know how to explain it. For those of you guys that don't punch, like you just it's something you guys just have to do. It's just so much fun. See you later, Samuel. Perfect. Oh man. He's like, yeah, dude. I mean, we can punch if you want to punch. I'm like, yeah, I really want to punch. Like that's something I really want to do on Okeechobee. He's like, we probably won't catch anything, but we can try. There you go, we both got a fish. We got some good luck today. Normally I'm bad luck. I guess Peric's not in the boat, so that's probably why things are actually going well. There's one. Yep. Come on, fish. Look at that monster. All right, well. Got a fish. We're, we're back in the zone, dude. It's like every fish I catch, I hook right in like the best spot possible. But I can only hook one out of like 67 that bite. Another little Nebraska root there. We're still searching, still searching for the big dogs. 
Haven't found any any absolute slaunches yet. I downsized my swim bait just a touch because I was having troubles with hookups as you guys have seen today. End the day catching a big one. We don't have a ton of time left. There's one, there's one, there's one. Oh, come on, I don't know if he's, I think he's still there. Oh my God. How's this next cast? That was clock. Heartbreaker, that was it. I had him pinned for a second. He surprised the hell out of me. I wasn't ready. <laughs> Why am I all of a sudden just on fire? I love it. All right, that's three for three. Well, two for three. Well, three hits and three <laughs> casts. And I caught two out of the three. Let's be let's be honest here, a little guy. I just turned the GoPro back on. That's three casts and three blowups, and I've caught two of them. And of course, the big one got off. Well, folks, that's the end of today's fantastic video. Fishing with Mikey Balls on Okeechobee. This was, like I said, the first time I've ever been to Okeechobee, and we had a few goals. Didn't complete the one of them. Uh, yesterday's video, we actually completed every goal that we had, but we set a few goals. The one that we didn't complete was me, catch a big fish, of course. But you know, that's just flare being flare. So you, you know, what else are you gonna expect? This dude, of course, brought in the big dog, but we caught them on swim baits in the pads, which was kind of a goal is to, to pad fish and a punching fish, which we completed as well. Thanks to him for uh, to, for finding the fish. Oh yeah, that's right though. <laughs> yeah, you were kind of like, hey, there's a fish there. I'll let you catch them since you suck at fishing. <laughs> and, uh, but yeah, so that's, that's kind of what we, what we got going on. I'm gonna, let's see, we're gonna go home, take a nice cold shower because I, you guys probably can't see the redness, but I am I am extremely red, extremely burnt. Tomorrow, I'm flying home, I think. Yeah, I'm flying home for like a day, of course, and then driving to Texas, and I'll be in Texas for probably 10 to 14 days. I know a lot of you guys are commenting, saying, you know, I, I made a video about me moving to Texas and then I'm never in Texas. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's kind of the deal. I'm going to Nebraska for a day and then I'll be in Texas for probably two weeks to break my PB. That's my only goal in those two weeks is to break my PB. Then I'll be back in Nebraska, fish a tournament, and then back in Texas, and I'm just gonna be all over the place. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys want to see big fish being caught, he is the man to be watching. Mikey Balls Fishing, it's all linked down below. As well as if you want the gear, the rod, the reel, the line, and the lures that we are using today, everything will be linked down below. I mean, I'm sure a lot of you guys probably don't fish like this, but in case you get an opportunity to, uh, you probably should if you do have an opportunity to. I mean, maybe you could throw the big swim baits and ponds. I'm sure you could probably catch fish that way. But anyways, I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you so much for watching and peace. Oh, there's a manatee. That's a manatee right Whoa. there. Whoa.